Mr. Stockman, why are women more complicated than men? Well, Billy, have a seat and let me tell you all about it. There's a pattern of inheritance called sex linked. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Um, sex a sex link trait or this inheritance pattern tracks a particular gene that's located on the X chromosome. One reason why males are obviously less complicated than females is that they only have one X chromosome because they are XY. The Y is this little tiny chromosome that hardly has any information on it. Females, on the other hand, have two X chromosomes, twice as much. For this example, uh, we hit the genetics books. and decided that we would study the inheritance pattern of malodorous flatulence. Also known as stinky farts. Malodorous flatulence is a recessive sex-linked trait. So it is a trait that is, shows a completely dominant inheritance pattern. However, it is found on the X chromosome. So when you have a male with an X and Y chromosome, the male will only carry one allele because the male only has one X. It doesn't exist on the Y chromosome. And the female has two. So if we took a normal male. Normal male. And a carrier female. Carrier is another way of saying heterozygous. If they produce offspring, then what are the phenotype and genotype probabilities? In other words, how many of their offspring would have stinky farts, even though none of the parents do? Hmm. Hmm. So carrier female and uh, normal male. All right, so here is our crossing. For dad, we have uh, an X and a Y chromosome. Um, and for mom, we have an X and an X chromosome. And we're going to uh, cross these two individuals together. Now, should we use Fs? For farts? Yeah. No, because it's really hard to tell us between a, tell the difference between a capital and lowercase. And S for stinky is kind of the same way. Let's just choose H. H works. Okay, let's use H. H is easy. So if mom is a carrier, that means she has one normal allele. If you guys can't see that, that's X with a big H uh, up to the top of it. And if she's a carrier, that means she has X with a little H. Dad is not stinky farted, and so he just has a little H. And his Y chromosome uh, has uh -uh. He's no a big H. allele. He's, oh, excuse me. X little H would be that he has stinky farts. But this guy, well, he does not have stinky farts. So he has a big H because uh, the stinky farts are recessive? That's right. Okay. So let's cross these two. And this is, uh, we, we were having some trouble with these in class because so many people want to put an allele in each box. But that's not necessarily the case. So I'm going to put mom's potential alleles here. She's going to have some eggs with X with a big H, and she's going to have some eggs with X with a little H. The man will have some sperm. Uh, his sperm that are destined to make females will have X with a big H, and his sperm that are destined to make males are just going to be Y's with no allele. In this square, we would get X big H, X, big H. What's the gender? Female. And how are the farts? Not stinky. Okay. And here we have X, big H, X, little H. Gender? Female. Stinky? No. In this box, we have X, big H, and Y. Uh, uh, gender? Male. Stinky? <laughs> and in this box we have X little h y stinky very male definitely all right so here's a, here's our stinky male I'll color him uh, teacher orange <laughs> yeah oh I need my highlighter and I'll make him kind of kind greenish of yeah, oh yeah malodorous malodorous flatulation okay. Absolutely not. Here we go. 
Um, percent genotypes? Yes. Looks like we have four different genotypes. We have uh, twenty-five percent for each. So twenty-five percent um, XX big H big H, twenty-five percent X big H X little H, twenty-five percent um, X big H Y, and twenty-five percent X little H Y. And our phenotypes, if we ignore gender, we could say that 75% not stinky, 25% stinky. Good? Good. All right, here we go. Oh, is that it? Nope, nope. Okay, next up, pedigrees. Now, um, let's say that uh, we, we have a pedigree question on the quiz, and a lot of us are having trouble with that. So in this example, and in almost every example, as long as nobody makes a mistake, the squares are going to be males, and the circles will be females. So here is our pedigree. Pedigrees are cool because you can trace your ancestry through them and try to figure out who has what genes. Where are the problems coming from? So here is a male mating with a female, and then they have children. So you drop a line down, and you draw this line over here. And let's say that these people have four offspring, um, two males and two uh, females. But if you go from, and then going from left to right, the first square there is the first born, the second square is the second born, third born, fourth born. Okay. And now, uh, let's say that one of these males is colorblind. So when these parents produced, they had four children, one male that was uh, malodorous, flatulaceous, and the rest were non-stinky. Now let's say that the female of this couple mated with a non-stinky male, and they had three children. Let's say that they had two boys and a daughter, and one of the boys was stinky. So if it's shaded in, it means that that individual is affected by the trait that we are tracking. Affected. Okay, so we need to go through and figure out what is the genotype of each of these individuals. So starting with the, the males who are shaded. The males are the easiest because they only have one allele to deal with. It's either they have it or they don't. XY with a little h because it's present. Yep, this is a recessive trait we're following. We can do it for the other male down there. X too. capital H, Y, because he's not afflicted. X capital H, Y for this male. X capital H, Y for this male. X lowercase Y for this male, because he's stinky. And X capital H, Y for this male, because he's not. Okay. If you look at the first... Uh, Female, I see. Wait, if you look at grandma up there at the very top, grandma, she has two X chromosomes and she is not affected, so she has at least one big H. At least one big H. Now, X big H is what this says. Now, what's on the other X chromosome? If you look at her offspring, she has produced one child who has a little H. Did that come from dad? It could not have come from dad. The only place it could have come from was from mom. So if she's a carrier, what do we do to symbolize that? we put a dot in a minute? Sure. Okay. Uh, let's go over to this individual. Okay. We know that she has two X's. Mm -hmm. uh, she's not affected, so she has at least one capital H. X capital H. And she produced an offspring that has a little h. Now, little h could not have come from dad. Dad had a big H, and yeah. no, no H is on the Y. Yeah, because, yeah. So, she has to be heterozygous for stinky farts, carrier. That's right. Now, let's look at this granddaughter down here. Okay. Uh, we do not know if 
We know that she is not a stinky farted. So she has at least one big H. But we don't know what the other one is. And the only one we would the only way we would know that for sure is if she produced offspring and if she produced an offspring that actually has stinky parts. Got it? So we could do a Punnett square to solve the probability of what this question mark is. So we're going to do a Punnett square for these this parent set. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, so we're going to mate a heterozygous female with a male who is not afflicted. Here we go. Uh, Punnett square. And we have male or female uh, heterozygous uh, crossing with a male who's not stinky. So we have Correct. X big H, X little H for the mom's eggs, X big H, Y for the male, and, and uh, so we can combine these. Here's a female who is homozygous non-stinky. Here's a female who is heterozygous non-stinky. She's a carrier is what we call her. Here's a male who is not stinky. Here is a male who is... Who is oh malodorous? malodorous. Flatulacious. However, however, in that problem, we were only concerned about what the granddaughter was. And so there's two possibilities of what the granddaughter could be. The granddaughter could be a female who has two big H's, homozygous, or or she's a carrier. Or she's a carrier. And she has a 50% chance of being a carrier. Because half of the women produced should be a carrier. Should I write that down? 50% chance granddaughter is a carrier. Can you read that? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have read it. <laughs>